Hi Jürgen, and all the best ahead of the new year. Hi Winnie, and for you? Thank you. Um, just to start with two news really, first of all, is Thiago fit to return? How's Minamino as well? No and no. Uh, um, I would say Taki is probably closer. Taki is um, running outside. Uh, Thiago not yet. Um, means for him it might take a little bit longer. It's a hip a hip issue, which we actually don't have an idea where it's coming from. So we have to be a little bit patient with that. Um, on top of that, we have three new COVID cases um, in the team and a few more in the staff. So it's not so cool in the moment. Um, yeah, but that's it. Are you able to tell us who's affected by by COVID at the moment? I, I'm I'm not um, because uh, we still have to make the whole processes and um, get a proper PCR and all these kind of things. And uh, but you will see it day after tomorrow on the team sheet. It's pretty clear then who is um, affected or infected. So, are you getting anywhere near close to having to ask for the game to be postponed? Uh, not yet. But we don't know. It, 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 in a, in, we don't have, uh, we, or we never had this kind of proper outbreak where 10, 15, 20 players had it. For us, it's more every day another one. Stuff um, happens now more often, uh, more and more often. So I said last before, it's a little bit, felt like a lottery in the morning um, when you when you stand there and you wait for the result. Um, it was now pretty much day by day, always one case, uh, today another one, and um, we have to wait. The boys are not even are not even in yet, um, so we have to wait. In in this moment, probably not, but um, we don't know how it will look in a few hours. Again, it almost doesn't seem right to ask this question when we're worried about players' health. Um, but in terms of the football itself, how important do you see this to <coughs> both sides if either of you is still to catch Manchester City at the top of the table? Yeah, uh, look, the only chance to catch anybody who is ahead of you is to win your football games, and um, that's already now that's now not so easy. We play against um, Chelsea, <laughs> have a pro football team might have similar issues like we have. I'm not 100% um, in the frame what what exactly the situation is at Chelsea, but um, that's probably the case. Uh, we go there, we try everything, uh, and it's a tricky place to go anyway. And it's um, um, Temple Bridge is, um, yeah. You don't win there with an average performance, so we better should be concerned about how good we we can be to to play the best football game um, we are able to play. Um, so we can now talk about our last game, which we were obviously not happy with. Um, so we have to we have to show reaction. <laughs> Yes, would be nice if we would play definitely better uh, than we did there. Uh, with all respect to Leicester, we, we put an incredible shift in. They deserve the three points. But even this game, without without us performing on our top top level, we probably should have won the game if we would have used our chances. Um, if we play normal, it is a completely different picture then. But we didn't. So all respect and well deserved Leicester. And now, of course, we have to to show that we. Um, can do much better and that's what we try now at Leicester and then we will see it has nothing to do with City obviously because we, we, we cannot catch them without playing football so we play football try to get as many points as possible and then we will see Fantastic Thank you Vinny uh, Okay Premier League Productions Charlie? Hi again Hi um, You mentioned the reaction um, what kind of a reaction have you seen in training since that game against Leicester? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, today's the first session we, we don't recover. That's the situation. So um, the reaction we will see today. But the boys, look, that's it's now. I would would not would not even. You think it sounds a bit crazy? If I would now tell yeah, the boys, it's not possible what they did there and all these kind of things. So I obviously my message came out clear across. So um, that's not clear enough across um, what we have to do. Blah blah blah. Or in a game something happened. It was the penalty we missed. Then we we got a bit in a rush. We we never had real rhythm, but a little bit of rhythm. We, we lost then as well, um, but still played good stuff in moments when we created our chances. That was absolutely good. But then the following action was not con convinced enough. Maybe that's the the thing. Um, yeah, and what I expect is a football reaction. But I would have expected a reaction if we would have won uh, the game because then we can make the next step and all these kind of things. So uh, yes, I'm I'm pretty positive about the mentality of my boys because I know them now long enough. Um, but 
even when we play a top, top, top game, it's not guaranteed that we will win at Chelsea. But um, I think it would give us a better chance and that's why we should try to do that. And you mentioned Chelsea, they have been struggling for consistency, particularly in the month of December. Um, I just wonder, how do you view their form of late compared to when you played them in late August? Look, Chelsea had a lot of problems. I've heard what I get of information from, from distance, injuries, then COVID, believe me. Um, I know you all have your own experiences with it, but when you when you when you work in a high performance um, uh, surrounding, and we have to we, we we have to we have to push the boys to 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 different limits where we really try to 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 make them fit for the right moment, stuff like this, and then you have constantly these kind of worries. It's it's not now like I'm not sure how you call that, but it's not like like honey licking or whatever. It's it's really it's really tricky, and they had the problems. We have the problems. Um, if we would have won against Leicester, I think we, it would have been a really really good uh, December. Uh, so we didn't. And all of a sudden, because of the consistency of, of City, it's it's just a it's it's a it's a difficult moment from outside for us. Not that much because we we don't expect that we be, there's always a possibility of losing a football game that can happen. Um, but that's now over, and now we just have to make sure that we that we are really on it again. And um, I expect a really strong Chelsea side because with all the struggles they have, obviously injury wise and COVID wise, which I don't know exactly about. Um, they still have obviously a proper football team, and uh, and Leicester gave us a good example. Um, when you have, when it's really intense, you have some problems, all these kind of things. If you put a proper shift in, there's always a chance in football, and um, that's what we will try as well. Thank you. Uh, just a reminder, we do have a Sunday uh, section to this as well. Therefore, I'm going to try and whip through these, and then we'll take a couple in the daily section, and then a couple from the Sundays. But uh, in order, Juliet followed by Cal Woodward followed by Carl Markham. Juliet. Hey Jürgen, is that is that what it is? Just picking up what you were saying about you know the reaction from outside and City's dominance. You, you lost a game. It, these things do happen. We're only halfway through a season. There's plenty of of, of, of catch up time, and also you know you also have lost a game as well with COVID, one of your fixtures over, over Christmas as well. So it, that it, it's not as bad as what it's being made out to be. The reaction has been. I don't know about the reaction, to be honest. I have no idea about the reaction, but we, I know how we felt. And I can tell you that um, um, the day after the game, it was... I still felt uh, the defeat. So that's not bad. It's not something you want to have, but it's uh, something that just shows us we, are, we, we, we don't want to get used to it. We, don't, we are not used to it and all these kind of things. So we, it, that's how it is. So as a human being, as, as a person in the situation, you want to show a reaction. You want to... Have, Together with your mates, together with your your team um, mates, and uh, that's exactly what we what we will try. Um, the general situation when you have this kind of close fight, with a, especially with an incredible consistent team as City, it looks like they are not even a little bit faced by by COVID or, or, or don't know about injury stuff like this. So just in there in a good moment, um, and then it's just how it is. But um, because you cannot win the league properly in the winter it's unlikely um, but what they have what they have now is a kind of a gap um, that's absolutely deserved for them but now let's just give it a go and let's play on it's it's how I said in the end of the season one team can become champion and um, somebody has to be second and third and all these kind of things so it has a decisive moment in in April there you have to be close enough to give it a proper go and uh, we will see where we are then and um, until from now to then oh my god so many games to play so many different competitions to play and um, we now have to make sure we always have enough players ready to fight and to compete thank you for your time have a happy new year yes. and for you thank you Julia. Okay, thank you we go to Carl Woodward from the BBC then to Carl Markham and then I think we'll go to the uh, the first embargo section Carl hi Jürgen hi Carl um, you mentioned the COVID cases and Thiago still being out. Curtis Jones is back on the bench after nearly two months. How good is it to have him as another option now, not just for how good he is, but being fresh in a busy period? Is that a big advantage for you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fresh, look, being out for a while. Nothing keeps you fresher than the game in the right moment. And games in the right moment because then you have a game, you have a proper intensity, then you have a recovery and all these kind of things. So when you're out, then you're out for some reason. Um, and it's better you are in 
But yes, it's cool to have him back, uh, especially with the Thiago situation, uh, with the Nabi situation um, from the third on and all these kind of things. Very important for us, really happy and um, he looks good. Thank you, Carl. And then finally, in this section, Carl Mark, and if I could have a couple of hands from the daily guys, I've got Paul in. That probably take two more um, for, for the daily section. Yes, Carl Mark. Hi, Jürgen. Hi, Carl. And um, this is obviously the last game you'll have Mo, Sadio, and Nabi before they go to the African Nations Cup. Um, I mean, it's difficult replacing all of them, but it must be almost impossible to to think about how you replace the contribution that, that Salah has had. How how much have you planned for that? sort of this, this next coming month without certainly those two of those front three. What do we mean with planned? Well, I mean, in terms of you know, how, how he has such a, has had such an influence, has scored so many goals, made so many assists, you've got to find a way of, of replacing that while he's away. Um, I, I wonder how much you've, you've, you've thought about who can do it and, and how, how the team might, might have to change no, especially in our situation, I'll be known for a bit longer that the situation is, will be difficult because it's not only that we lose three players, we have we, the players we have now not available for for tomorrow, from a COVID point of view, will probably not be, a, I'm not 100% sure, we will see that exactly, but um, some of them at least will not be available for the first Arsenal game for sure, so we have to see. So that's how you do it, you have to solve problems in football with football solutions, the football solutions will, will, will happen with the players we have available and that's what we try and um, that's what we'll do. Planned in the long term, I, I know exactly how we could play if all the rest is is um, is fit and healthy and available, that's no problem and it would, would be a strong team and, and all these kind of things, but it's, um, yeah, I don't know who is available from the third on. Um, so let's have a look in a moment when we when we know about that and then we, we will find a, a solution for, for we will play football games um, and we will see uh, how we get through them but I'm really positive it's all it all depends to who is available that's how it is so um, we will see